Social media statistics can predict elections, particularly for 2008 when Barack Obama won. He had a huge online presence uh, on platforms like MySpace. In 2012, he won re-election and again had a much more massive online presence than his opponent. And in 2016, despite all of the polls and experts predicting that Trump would lose, if you were to have only looked at his social media presence, you would have easily predicted he would win. And so the question is, who is going to win the election in 2020? My prediction is Donald Trump based on social media. Let's take a closer look. First, I will uh, show you July, followed by all the data updated from yesterday, November 1st. So I'm calling these web online rally models or worms for short. And this is because you can think of all these online metrics as rallies because it shows enthusiasm and interest. And uh, really the word worm is kind of cool. So worms. Compared to Joe Biden, in July, Donald Trump had over 12.5 times more Twitter followers, equating to a probability of winning of 92.6%, over 13 and a half times more likes on Facebook, and over 13.2 times more followers on Facebook. So both of those give probabilities of Trump winning around 93%. On Instagram, Donald Trump has over eight times more followers. Again, another high probability, 88.9%. YouTube, over seven times more subscribers. Google Trends, over nine times more Google searches about him. That equates to a 90% chance of winning. And then on Amazon, looking at numbers of reviews of books dealing with these two candidates, and just looking at books that are highly rated, 4.5 to 5 stars on average, he had over 25 times more reviews, putting him around 96% chance of winning the 2020 election. So in short, the July worm range was around 87.5 to 96.2% chance that Donald Trump wins, with a median of a 92.6% chance. This is reminiscent of the prediction from the famous primary model from the Stony Brook professor, Helmut Norpoth. The primary model has gotten the election prediction right for 25 of the 27 elections since 1912 when primaries were introduced. For 2020, the primary model is predicting a 91 to 95 percent chance that Trump will be re-elected. Now there's an issue. The polling averages and betting odds are telling a different story. For polling, I go to the well-known website 538 that tracks polling and I'm looking at more of a median or mean polling average of about 41.5% for Donald Trump. And I'm thinking of that as a probability in this case, although I'm aware that they use this as an input to a model to predict a much lower probability of Trump winning. When you look at the betting odds of all the various online betting websites, the median is around 42 or 43%. And so that's very similar to the polling. So basically what we have is this July worm predicting an 87 to 96% chance, the primary model predicting 91 to 95%, and then the polls and betting odds in the 42% range, which is an odd discrepancy but we've seen it before. All right, so just to update what we're seeing from yesterday, November 1st, 2020, two days before the election on November 3rd. Congratulations to Joe Biden for closing the gap a little bit here, but still Donald Trump has a 73 to 90% chance of winning or an 88.2% median. However, to be more conservative and limit the certainty that I have that Donald Trump will win re-election. I looked for alternate ways, alternate accounts to get some of Donald Trump's metrics that weren't so outscaling of Joe Biden's. That lowered the probabilities from 52 to 81% with a median of 63.3% chance. So even then, like uh, trying to be extremely conservative there, there's still like a two thirds chance that Donald Trump wins. 
having said that, a one-third chance that Joe Biden wins is nothing to shake a stick at. So uh, just a summary of everything we've seen so far. The worms from July and November, the primary model, 538 polls in July and November. The polling went up slightly, but again, that model, they use this as an input for a model, and they're predicting a 10% chance that Donald Trump wins, and the odds actually went down a little bit in November. All right, so just taking a look at these numbers, they're reminiscent of the polling in 2016 for Donald Trump. So let's use this number as an example. In 2016, some of the final predictions was that Donald Trump had a 9 or 10% to be easier, 10% chance of winning, but as a comparison, the percent of electoral college that he won was 57%. What is a correction factor that we can use to convert the polling into a probability that Trump would win, given the uh, errors in the polling from 2016? Here's just a table showing that if you keep certain amounts of those bias or errors present in the model, you can then correct the probability of Donald Trump winning. So if they've completely fixed the models, you have a 41.5% chance of Donald Trump winning. Uh, or even lower. And then if increasing amounts of the errors are still present, you get increasing amounts of probability that Donald Trump will win. When If 100% of the bias is still there, you have a 90.6% chance Donald Trump wins, which again, it's reminiscent of this primary model of 91 to 95%. If you look at just even these blended, you know, bias, like 25% of the bias still remains up to 100, that basically encompasses the range of probabilities I found in the November worm from 73 to 90 percent. 